All right, so we managed to get the car in, uh, which was a lot of work because we have a steep ramp just by the door, and obviously this hasn't moved very much in a long time, uh, and we don't have much equipment in the ways of moving it. I'm recovering from surgery, so I can't do a lot of lifting, and Kim waves three stone wet, so uh, it was hard work, but we got it in uh, with its flat tyre and it seized everything. Uh, so yeah, so it's in. Our next job really is to start assessing it uh, in terms of where to start. Um, um, yeah, well, I don't know really where that is, but mostly it'll be cutting off the stuff that we don't want, like the bumper, all the knackered bits of the back, and then really assess uh, mostly just the drive train, to be honest with you. Um, the chassis is good, we know, uh, so it will be axles front and back, uh, and then stripping out stuff like the fuel tank that we know we're not going to need because uh, it's going to be electric, engine can come out, gearbox can come out. Um, so that's, that's first really where we're going to dig into it to, to figure out uh, what we've got, basically. So, to explain what we're going to do with it, um, really, Obviously, you know we're going to EV it, pretty straightforward stuff. Um, but what we wanted from, and why we picked a Series 1, was we want a show vehicle for synchro gearboxes, something that we could um, take to the shows, that we could use on YouTube uh, and, and on social media and stuff like that, that housed our products. Um, things like our transmission parts, uh, our gearbox, all our gearbox parts, transfer box parts, things like that. Um, and then something also that, that had our adapter type stuff, you know, the stuff that we developed and knew, like the, the adapter thing. So, um, and ultimately we wanted something that was cool, so mm. Series 1. Um, so yeah, so we found this and, and sort of came up with the idea of the Series 1, which would be a great, you know, something that would package the things that we, that we wanted from it. And also we're going to use it locally, you know, to, to nip around here in Wales. Um, I think EV Series 1 green laning is cool as. Um, so that's something that, uh, that we want to do. So we found this. Um, we don't really want to go mad on restoring it. We want something that's a usable vehicle that isn't uh, a show car in the sense that it's shiny and nice. Um, I love the fact that it's got the patina and the history, you know, it's an old farm truck. You can see it's an old farm truck from the 50s um, in, in Australia. And, and I think, uh, I, I love that. I love the fact that it's got its dents and it's got its history and stuff. So we want to keep that um, that sort of charm. Um, so we're not going to do a huge amount. We're going to keep all the dents. We're going to keep all the holes. You know, we might lightly rub the sand this down um, and just clear coat it so it looks more or less as it is and keep it looking um, original but what we do want is a functioning vehicle that will actually work so restoring the axles and stuff like that will do but we'll do it quite tastefully so it doesn't look super shiny and the kind of car that would sit in a garage and never get used because um, that's not what we want uh, so what else do i need to say really we um we just need to gut it for the most part. I don't want to strip the whole thing down so it's a pile of bits on the floor, but I do need to get into it and see see what, what's here. Um, moving forward, we're going to show you, uh, in other videos, we're going to show you about the EV conversion stuff specifically. I'm not going to go into a whole load of detail about that because there's a ton of videos uh, from proper experts uh, on EV conversions that will give you a load more info and know a lot more than I will. Likewise with the restoration stuff, you know, we're not going to go into detail on the restoration. We will on the transmission stuff because that's where we know what we're talking about, if you like. Um, but the general restoration stuff, you know, you can go on YouTube now and there's a ton of guys doing rest restoration stuff that, that really know what they're talking about. So we're not going to delve into that too much. Um, yeah, so next videos are going to be us gutting the bits that we don't want. Then the EV stuff, we'll, we'll talk about that. We've got an EV set up, sort of already done and working uh, on the floor. So I'll show you around that briefly. Um, and that's pretty much it in terms of what to expect from this. Don't know if you've got anything to add, Kimmy? No. no. Okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that's it really. So. Uh, keep watching, click the 
uh, subscribe button below uh, if you haven't already and the little bell so you get notifications of uh, when we bring out our new videos and we're going to be doing them reasonably regularly whilst we've got the time to dig into this. Um, we're hoping to get it sort of ready for show, uh, Peterborough show, which is September. Months away. Yeah. Um, so we'll be working hard on that. So check out the videos, hit the subscribe and the bell. Uh, check out our other YouTube for our racing stuff. So check out Team Synchro Racing. Uh, and our other YouTube channel and obviously Instagram and Facebook and then meet us back here in the workshop for the next video.